Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I do have to let you know it's possible that this new save might actually be deleted in advance of release as well. We're kind of in the dark on that right now, but either way, we're gonna see some new stuff on this run. I hope. Who did we unlock on that last run? I don't really want to do another uh, Azazel run, and the reason is I want to keep him kind of spread out because he's got the um, basically Brimstone. So I think that makes the runs a little bit, I mean, there could be some cool synergies there, but it also makes them start a little samey. So maybe we'll try playing a run as uh, Lazarus. Lost. I still have not figured out what those uh, codes mean, or what those uh, weird kind of indentations mean at the start. So that's the miter. I almost tricked myself there. And I was like, wait a minute, is the miter orange? I don't know. That spirit heart is incredible. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm almost familiar enough. Forgot that we started with the pill, by the way, but I'm almost familiar enough with Rebirth on a, a basic level that I'm comfortable like leaving things like spirit hearts behind to pick them up at the end of the floor. I haven't been doing it so much. I haven't been, you know, importing my full, um, you know, vanilla strategy as it is. Wow. Thank you, Miter. Wow. Thank you, Miter. Uh, yeah, but I, I've been playing, I wouldn't necessarily say sloppily, but not as tight as I normally play vanilla, which is saying something because I didn't play very tight in vanilla. Um, because I'm kind of distracted by the novelty of things and, and intimidated by new enemies and new rooms and whatnot. Um, considering we don't have a reroll or anything, I'm just going to finish off the entirety of this floor before we go fight the boss, which I think is a smart idea. And we may be able to get some bombs here if we play our cards right. If we get one bomb, we can use that to get two bombs. So please drop a bomb here. Hey, that was really lucky. And maybe we can find the secret room as well. I doubt it, but it's possible. Oh well. Two bombs is actually fairly solid. Maybe allows us to kill uh, a difficult boss a little faster. Wow, I did not realize that uh, this floor would be as long as it is. I thought we had like one or two rooms left. But yeah, I'm almost getting to the point where I feel... That's a new one. Petrified poop. It feels lucky. Alrighty then. Um, I'm getting to the point where I feel like I can start to play a little bit more... I don't want to say professionally, because that's not really what I'm going for. But play a little bit more... Um, methodically, deliberately, those might be words that I would use in this situation. Hopefully I, uh, I don't let you down there. You know what? It, we might as well check here for the secret room because we're gonna get a bomb out of it anyway. I thought our odds were really low, but it ended up actually working out very nicely, and we picked up a key. This guy is a key beggar. Uh, I'm not gonna give him any keys. Because I don't really trust those because of Community Remix. Maybe that's projecting, but I think, you know, I, I don't feel, uh... I don't feel like I'm making a mistake in that area. Larry Jr., okay. With one bomb. I don't really love the idea of uh, using it on Larry Jr., but I also don't love the idea of taking more damage here than I absolutely have to. This, like, new Larry Jr. is so effing annoying. I think he's got less HP. Uh, and I, I guess it's just like a really, really, you know, differently skinned champion version. Um, compared to just like in vanilla where it would have a different color because it explodes into silkworms which is the negative I guess of it but um, yeah I, I really dislike that enemy not because it's poorly designed just because it's difficult anything that makes the first couple of floors more difficult has a you know disproportionate effect on the rest of the game what is that so if I had to guess what would I say that was it's like candy cigarettes or something or socks old bandage HP up all right fair enough Relatively easy uh, to understand. Let's head down to the next floor. When am I going to use this pill? That's a good question. I, I probably should have used it at the end of that floor just in case we got IM error, but whatever. I want to be careful because I really don't want to use uh, bombs or key by accident or paralysis or, well, pheromones might be okay. I don't think we've ever used pheromones effectively. Digging this run so far, though. We, we look like some kind of escaped. Uh, you know, criminal mental patient or something like that. Face just held together by a couple of old bandages here. Okay, I'm gonna kill the flies even though this thing summons more spiders. Because the flies are annoying. The spiders are annoying as well. The big spider is like, if you don't have piercing shots, which I don't think I've had at all over the course of this game. Unless you have like, you count um, Ludovico technique or something like that. But, uh... It's the most annoying enemy, I think, on the first couple of floors because it just it's like fighting a Duke of Flies over and over and over again. We got little dingles here. You got a little dingle! Anaconda Mall Liquor gives you a little dingle. Anyway, we're uh, gonna knock out some of this poop. Hopefully pick up... Yeah, okay, that'll do. 
Uh, I was going to say enough money to go to the shop, and that appears to be pretty much exactly how this is going to go down. You don't uh, often get a whole dime from poop. He's going to rush me down at any minute now. Aha! What's my most uh, important tip? By the way, by the time you're watching this, you're probably better at Rebirth than I am. But what's my tip right now if you're still uh, an absolute novice for dealing with those dingles? Don't panic. Pay attention. They have tells before they do their moves. I am guilty of not really uh, paying attention to them to see those tells. Oh, Daddy Long Legs is a really, really good item. Um, but they do have tells. They always do like a little bit of a burpee type thing before they go. With three spirit hearts, you know what? I'm going to go to our curse room right away. See what we got. Two more spirit hearts and... Three spirit hearts, okay. Glad to see Miter plus uh, Red Chess is still a recipe for success in Rebirth. I don't know why it wouldn't be. So we can pretty much just let Daddy Longlegs tackle this one if we want to, I guess. I'm just going to try to dodge some shots here and hopefully... Oh, okay, that was really terrible. I really should just let Daddy Longlegs handle everything. Honestly, this might be one of the most uh, safe runs that we've had in Rebirth thus far. Daddy Longlegs a really nice damage dealer that doesn't require me to be at risk. Miter's giving me an insane amount of spirit hearts, not to mention the fact that we also have, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just put it there. We also have, uh, Lazarus, so if we die, we come back. Seems like we're in a pretty good position with all due respect. Hopefully we get some cool deal with the devil stuff. I know that people are gonna be mad. I would love to see Brimstone, though. I still haven't gotten it on this run yet, or on this, uh, in vanilla yet. Okay, or in Rebirth. Sorry, I forgot how to speak. So this is an item I have seen before, but don't be mad, because it's a fun one. This is the boomerang. What does the boomerang do? Check it out. I mean, I should have used a bomb here anyway to get the tinted rock. But, uh, it's a timed item. I will open this, too. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. It's a timed item. Uh, it, it can be used offensively to hit enemies. And if it hits them, it freezes them and does a decent amount of damage. But it's also useful for grabbing consumables. So, you know, if you ever have a situation like this, you can grab these uh, pennies here, or if there were hearts or spirit hearts or whatever you wanted over here, you can get them. It won't grab chests and pull them through rocks, so you gotta be wary about that. But uh, apart from that, I think it's a really good item. I haven't really, you know, I'll show you hopefully hitting an enemy and you can see it freeze, yeah. I haven't really, you know, done any thinking, Lucky Tinted Rock there, to see where this ranks, you know, compared to something like Blue Candle. It seems a little bit worse, but I like it. I, and I don't just like it because it's a cool item, I like it because it's, uh... It's actually, like, good offensively and for grabbing consumables. As you can see, the freeze time is, like, really low. And, uh, that time it didn't even work, but that's okay. So we'll get a deal with the Devil here, almost certainly. And then we'll use a pill after we, uh... After we go to that deal with the devil and see what we get in there, but as is right now, this run is shaping up exceptionally. I really think the boomerang is one of the coolest space bar items. I mean, I haven't seen all the space bar items, of course, but I think uh, boomerang is real effing neat. Squeezy, I like it. Uh, we can't really benefit from the spirit hearts right now because we're already at spirit hearts off the screen. It's a great position to be in, and uh, this is demon beggar. Does he take red hearts? Is that how that works? Dark bum. He wants to take your life. Dark Bum. 48 hour energy, so that gives us another... It gives us a charge on our item and uh, a battery on the ground, which we don't really need. But hey, down to the next floor. What does that mean? He wants your life. Maybe he picks up... Oh, I should have tested this on the last floor, but I'm assuming that uh, he picks up red hearts that are on the ground. We gotta check this out, of course. I'm gonna try to open... I was, basically, this is why I wanted to open them. Uh, was to see if they were... Uh, bombs that can maybe hurt enemies. Unfortunately, they were bombs, but they hurt me. So I don't feel so strong about that. Now, if you're wondering, the boomerang um, is not a, uh, a piercing shot, which is pretty unfortunate for enemies like this, but I still think it's a great item. It's almost like... I mean, okay, it, I'm struggling with where to find it. It's like a, a version of the ladder, which is not necessarily a great item to start with, that's active, which makes it worse, but it also carries offensive value with it, which makes it a little bit better, plus it's novel. So that's, I guess, where I, where I fall on that one. So this should be the enemy that explodes into, uh, into bombs when it dies. I think it's the first time we've actually seen those human popcorns over the course of this. Uh, no bomb at all, okay. Ultra Pride, oh, this is a first, okay. Uh, Daddy Longlegs, thank you. Thank you so much. I almost just want to stay the hell away completely from Ultra Pride, because Ultra Pride is... One of the most dangerous enemies 
Uh, one of the most dangerous mini bosses in the game for sure. So we got the left hand now, which makes sense. And uh, honestly, I think we. I'm gonna take it. So I don't know what Petrified Poop does. It feels lucky. It seems like it's been pretty good for us so far, but I'll take the left hand. The weird thing is, you know, left hand plus miter is a crazy good combination in vanilla. But it's not as good for us now because uh, soul hearts have kind of been nerfed. You can't have them going off the screen, so we already have kind of our maximum. But hopefully this will help us keep our maximum. I don't know why we just dropped the spirit art there when we walked in, by the way. Unless that was maybe a champion enemy and I didn't notice. Or maybe that's what the left hand does now, or maybe that's what, you know, Dark Bum does now. I don't know. I can't keep a straight face while I, uh, while I say that. It sounds like a, like, 1990s era porn site. I guess we might as well go back for that spirit heart. Well, there you go. That's how much damage B B Boomerang does. It kills a fly in one hit. Not much more, though. And I haven't really, uh, had a chance, I think, to use... Dark Bomb effectively. I'm trying to find like some red hearts on the ground, but it just hasn't come up yet. We don't have quite enough money, but I think, yeah, we're gonna try it out anyway. I would love to buy a remote detonator, to be honest with you. What if I buy this? It won't even let me buy it. I thought maybe it would just show up on the ground. Can we kill poop in one hit with boomerang? No, it doesn't do any damage to poop, which I guess makes sense because it has to go over uh, obstacles in order to bring back consumables for us. Um. <clears throat> I'll probably keep the boomerang. Even if we get remote detonator, I'll keep the boomerang as our item. But, uh, I would love, like, basically 15 cents for five bombs. Sure, why not? That's my best friend. My best friend is, uh, not very good. One of my least favorite items. I think it might have a lower charge now, but we can at least use it to put it down there. It sucks up damage from enemies, and then explodes. And there's some damage for us. Yeah, there we go. So he actually ate. Ooh. If that's only a one hard deal, for him to turn unused red hearts into spirit hearts seems crazy useful. Really bad damage on my part. That's all right, though. Uh, I think we're, we're pretty much in the clear here as far as our, like, defense goes. There we go. Get him frozen. Let Daddy Long Legs do what Daddy Long Legs does. Oh, the freeze, maybe it only works, like, fully 50% of the time. Get the freeze. Yeah, there we go. Daddy Long Legs can do some serious damage there. Just me or does Mega Fatty seem, like, super easy this time? Already half dead, hasn't even really come close to doing damage to us at all. Oh, Daddy Long Legs almost got, uh, it wouldn't have been a fatal blow, but it would have been pretty close. There we go, the freeze. And I'm really hoping we get another deal with the devil after this, just because I basically I can afford to. And I would love to get some, uh, oh, there we go, that should do it. I would love to get some extra damage, basically. A caffeine pill, I picked it up too quickly to really see what it was, but yeah, caffeine pill is uh, speed up, size down, I believe. We got a little bit more left to explore on this floor, so we might as well. That's probably where that spirit heart in that room came from, was, uh... Bum friend, not bum friend, dark bum. Picking up a, uh... Red heart that I didn't see and replacing it with a spirit heart. It, it, almost certainly, it's probably, like, flat penny or something. Like, it goes at a rate, it doesn't just trade the hearts one for one. If it trades them one for one, that's, like, insanely useful. I just wanted to get that over here in case we needed it at some point. Which we probably will not. I mean, this run's looking pretty solid right now. And our HP is, uh, basically sorted for us. Uh, I don't know if I will actually... I mean, first off, I might not get the money, so let's not worry about it, but... Uh, yeah, I guess I won't worry about trying to get a remote detonator. We got a pretty fly, though, from Pill that I don't remember picking up. That's okay. We'll be heading down to the Caves Part 2 on a pretty... Oh, well, I guess we'll see if we get some money here, but even if we do, I probably won't get a remote detonator. Save our money for maybe something a little bit more meaningful. Alrighty. Caves Part 2. I have a bit of a bias against the big rooms. Tears up, nice. Uh, oh, that was terrible damage. I'm sure we'll get it back, but yeah, I have a bit of a bias against the larger rooms. I tend to hold off on them. Check this out. Yeah. See, the boomerang's got some real use to it. Uh, I tend to hold off on them until I absolutely have to go to them because I find them uh, a little bit more difficult than the your average room. 
So this is a new one. That's a 69 right there. Cancer. HP up plus you feel protected. I have no idea. I don't know what you feel protected means. Maybe it's like the wafer. But an HP upgrade plus the wafer would be stupid good. Just gonna see what we got going on with our tarot cards. Wheel of Fortune and uh, Death. Curse Room contains a couple of spirit arts, which I don't know if that's really that meaningful, but hey, a pretty fly. And... Bad gas, that's okay. Can't take our spirit hearts, so don't be lecturing me about missing those. There's no way Dark Bum trades one-to-one. -one. I'm watching it, and I'm seeing it trade one-to-one, -one, but I don't believe it, because I think that's too easy. Now that we've got a long room, why don't we just pop our death card? That should kill everything in here. And uh, we'll go back and get that Wheel of Fortune card. I guess the, the existence of big rooms makes it so that a death card is maybe a little bit more valuable. Just because the game... I mean, it feels harder as a whole. I guess if it... It, part of that is just due to the fact that it's unfamiliar. But if the game gets harder, um, then objects that, uh, or items that kill enemies right away seem to be a little bit more advantageous. Temperance. I'll tell you what. We'll use it right now. Get some cash out of it. That's IV bag. IV bag shows up so freaking often now. Oh, by the way, um, IV bag doesn't have that period of invincibility anymore, so I just cost myself a little bit of HP, but... That's fine. Wheel of Fortune. That HP is unlikely to be meaningful. But hey, by using IV Bag, actually, we're going to be able to gain access to our boss trap room here. That's exciting. I'm so happy to have Daddy Long Legs. It's like... I never really uh, ranked them, but Daddy Long Legs might actually be like the best passive in the game. Oh, there's Guppy's Paw. Two bombs, two spiders. But Guppy's Paw. So I actually think that Guppy's Paw might be substantially worse now that spirit hearts have been nerfed. The maximum amount of HP Guppy's Paw could actually benefit you for is now uh, 12. Which is only like 4 red hearts. Is that worth it? I don't know. I mean, it depends on it depends on your damage, I guess, and whether or not you get something like the Polaroid. I don't know. There's It's, it's possibly worth it, but the reason I'm going to take it is because it gives me a chance to become Guppy and why not pick it up? But I really think that Guppy's Paw might... Ah, uh, it was bad damage on my part. Uh, might no longer be kind of like that majestic item that it used to be. You know what, it seems like that Cancer item, based on the aura changes that it's kind of showing me right now, I think it might be uh, a Celtic Cross effect, not a Wafer effect. That was... that should have been damage that I took there, but I didn't, so lucky me. Careful. Almost done here. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we're done. Any consumable drop? A bomb. That's uh, fine. We do still need those. I don't want Guppy's Paw. And I almost feel like the Red Hearts are substantially more valuable than the Spirit Hearts at this point because Bum Friend, or <laughs> again, Dark Bum, gives us so many Spirit Hearts that it kind of seems like, you know, Red Hearts are actually going to be the more precious resource. Might be mistaken in that. I don't think I am, though. All right, boss fight, Mega Man. We have to find Dr. Wowie immediately. Mega Man. Whoa, okay. Really cool effect on the fire there. But if you could just stop it, that would be great as well. What is this move? Okay, you spit out a... I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Seriously, you're... Yes! Get frozen! Don't get hit! Hey, I unlocked the catacombs, the harder version, I guess, of uh, the caves. That's Cat of Nine Tails. I'm gonna... Oh, Bum Friend, you should pick that up, man. I'm gonna take it, because it also is now a damage upgrade. And we get Rotten Friend, which is a... Uh, rotten Baby, I should say. Which is not a crazy good item, but does spit out flies occasionally. I think it's okay, and, uh, you know, further to the point, I don't think we need to worry about our HP at all, so... Yep, alright, so we've learned something new about uh, this room. What we've learned is move. <laughs> Alright, we we did fine there, and uh, I'm not totally surprised that we're fighting Greed. Almost dead anyway. Dead anyway. I wish there was still a donation machine in here, because uh, now that we've gotten the Steam sale, I would love to donate and maybe influence what comes up in our next shop, but whatever. Now, it's worth noting we do still need to survive down to the Womb Part 2, and the Womb Part 2, well, specifically Mom, it's a lot harder now. Oh, come on. 
I do wish the boomerang pierced a little bit. It's all right though. It's paid for itself pretty well, considering that you know we get everything from it for free. Maybe we can get some consumables here. So I'm weighing the cost here. We have one guppy item. Do I really want to spend uh, two bombs on a red chest when I only have four bombs? Might not be the worst idea. Might not be the best idea. Might give me nothing. Oh, this is... So we could sit here probably for like an hour and just boomerang the crap out of this, but I'm just going to try to get these nickels and we'll leave the rest of the money over there. Because I don't want to sit here and just, you know, get one penny every time. Uh, sure, because in the interest of, uh, you know, trying to see new things and maybe getting our HP back. Let's use two bombs here. Could have... Oh, wow. Well, uh, that's alright. We didn't expect that chest to be there anyway. And we got a spirit heart out of it. Sure. Fine by me. We'll be heading down to the next floor. And the boss room's over here. So that's IV bag. We definitely don't want to take IV bag with us. We've already been in... I wonder if Wheel of Fortune... Look, I don't think it works like this. But maybe if it pays out with, um... Well, what are my other options here? Basically, take this down to the chest. We don't really have a chest anymore. I mean, we do, but I haven't been to it. I'm assuming we do anyway. Um, and I'm not going to be able to go to it on this run, because on this save file, we still haven't even beaten Mom's heart. So, you know, I think we might as well just kind of see if we can get this to explode and a deal with the devil item here. You can blow up uh, the statue in the middle, I think, too. I was trying to win some red hearts. Maybe we'd get a spirit heart back from uh, Dark Bum. That worked fine this way as well. Okay. Well, we got a lot of money back and our bomb back, which is fine. Kind of a waste of time there, but at least we're back at full HP. Let's see what we've got going on on the depths. Cool that we unlock the catacombs now, too. Oh, I hate this room. I hate it. Where's the foot? There it is. Freeze it. Oh, we didn't even need to freeze it. Daddy Longlegs totally took care of it. Lucky us. All right, Zambros. Daddy Longlegs seems like a great counter. That was terrible damage on my part, but hey, Spirit Heart back from uh, Bum Friend? Yeah, or Dark Bum. Just keep in mind, I'm going to get it wrong all the time. This seems like a crazy good item, though. Like, it almost borderline overpowered. Since we have the Miter, I'll shoot the fire, just in case maybe there's a greater chance for Spirit Hearts to be there. We'll, we'll go back and pick that up, probably. I can't believe that shot didn't hit. That boomerang hit, I should say. We have more than full HP, so sure, let's come through with this. Red chest could be very useful. Uh, yeah, you know what? That was pretty solid. A tears upgrade, I don't mind. What's the other one? Is that another pretty fly? I don't think it is. It's bad gas. Well, I used it. Didn't really accomplish anything. That's my own fault. I know exactly what bad gas does, of course. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Alright, let's get some sweet tear effects on this run. That's what I'm rallying for. I think we're going to win, and we got to see the boomerang. But I would like to see a little bit more uh, new stuff. Not that the boomerang isn't new. It's a relatively easy room here. Haven't really had the ability to fly too much in, uh, in Rebirth either. Ooh. Uh, these enemies, I don't think I've been hit by them very much, but they can be real annoying. Especially when they just stop shooting, or they start shooting endlessly. For now, we're at full HP, at least as full as it gets. Helps uh, prevent, like, runs where you're super powerful early on from just snowballing into, you know, can't lose territory. I think. Might be wrong about that. Item room is, uh, okay, so Gimpy. That gives us another chance to get Spirit Hearts when we get hit, I think. I might be wrong about that again, but there is no Binding of Isaac wiki yet. And this is what, like two for one bombs, maybe? Bogo bombs, one plus one bombs. Well, let's try to buy this. That gave me one bomb. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, it's wrong, though. Also bought the pill because I recognized it and knew it was a tears upgrade. For now, let's give a lot of our money away to this donation machine. Maybe we can hit like shop level three or something. Even though our save's gonna disappear, I think this is a good use of money. We'll get a little bit of information for the future. Come on, come on, come on though, come on. This one's really going all the way. Well, we can take it to 50 cents if it doesn't jam. Oh, really? We're one away? 
I'll take the spirit heart, please. Yeah, thank you. It really does appear to be paying out nearly one to one, which is kind of ridiculous. Not that I'm complaining, but at the same time, that would make Dark Bomb like instantly one of the most powerful items in the game. The ability to turn, uh, oh, this is dangerous. The ability to turn unused red hearts into spirit hearts at a near or equal to one to one ratio seems kind of ridiculous. Like, I'm not even picking them up now, just so there'll be spirit hearts on the ground. Yeah, why not? That was even like a half to one ratio. I guess now we might as well shoot this because we could actually benefit from it. And, uh, cool. Let's go fight whoever we're gonna fight. It's the gate. Okay, so I like the gate from a uh, Daddy Long Legs context. I hate the gate from a Don't Take a Lot of Damage context because he's kind of a pain in the dick. Freeze him. There we go. Hey! Somehow we got a spirit heart out of that. Well, we won pretty quickly, but I do find this boss pretty annoying. I think he's going to be a boss that's going to end a lot of people's dreams. Synth, synth oil, damage plus range up. Happy to have it. Crazy tears, crazy damage. Well, crazy-ish damage. We're getting there. Okay, I have to. Um, we've seen some of these. I have to try Brimstone, though. I can't get around it. Although it might kill me. Oh, you know what? I did do... Uh, that was on camera. I did uh, get uh, Brimstone... And it killed me, even though I had spirit hearts. Or maybe I didn't have spirit hearts. But either way, I'm going to take this instead. Missing page two. Evil up. Your enemies will pay. Oh, I just took missing page instead of brimstone. I don't feel glorious about that. You can do it. Oh, even if you couldn't, there's so many spirit hearts. It doesn't really matter. Some people are going to be mad about that. But I really, really didn't want to end this run by dying. And I wasn't 100% confident that I wouldn't die. So I, wa I want to be safe and comfortable in my decisions. There will be plenty of time for Brimstone when we're old. As of right now, though, I'm, I'm loving the, the damage that we got going on here. I'm loving the Daddy Long Legs. Kind of wish I didn't take, you know, Rotten, uh, Rotten Baby. Which is a gross word to say, or a gross phrase to say, but I kind of wish I didn't take it. We'd have the HP that we could have taken Brimstone for sure. And I don't think uh, we're going to be need to, needing to use uh, Lazarus's... Sweet. I don't think we're going to be needing to use uh, Lazarus's respawn mechanic here. Lazarus's? Lazarus's respawn mechanic here. Um, we're going to just get this penny that I forgot about up here, because it's possible we might need it on the next floor. We did donate a bunch here. See, I didn't forget about it. I have no idea what Missing Page 2 does. My assumption is that maybe if you combine it with... Um, I should have led... Dark Bum, pick that up. And maybe if you combine it with missing page one, something real crazy happens, but I don't know. Down to the next floor. More damage upgrades, always great, but I would love to see some, uh... Oh, nice. I would love to see some, uh... Cool tier effects as well. That's what, that's what we're all here for, right? I really do not want to use... Uh, this pill yet. Because it could be paralysis. I'll use it now. Are you a wizard? So I think that allows us to see the secret rooms. Uh, or maybe it causes us to get a random shot effect for a room, which seems effing terrible. I don't know why it acts like that's a good thing. Well, what we can do, if we get lucky, is uh, uh, try to hit Monstro 2 with the boomerang. And then that gives us a brief moment of uh, ability to hit it. How? Okay, so we gotta stand like slightly. Oh, there we go. It, it wore off, I think. Here we go. Go to town. See, our damage is actually really, really good. It's amazing how quickly that got stacked up. I don't know if Missing Page had something to do with it as well as Synth Oil, but we're really doing a, a, quite a number on these enemies. Good. We got our Emperor card with us. Any other consumables? No. I can see forever. So that gives us the. I thought that gave us the whole map. We gotta get out of here. I suppose we could have stayed still and just let, um... Just let Daddy Longlegs take care of everything. Oh, I didn't even notice what these guys were until just now. Yep. Well, there's a spirit heart somehow. Oh, little chub! I like you, little chub. This is the first time I've seen you. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what? See you later. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. Anything in here? Let's keep moving on. Still feeling really, like, straight up great about this run. Bump friend. 
Or Dark Bum. I like you. I, again, just to get used to it, I'm going to make the same mistake every time. It just pays out. That's really like... I don't mean to uh, be presumptuous, because we're still very early in the lifespan of Rebirth. But man, it, that seems like Dark Bum is just like the craziest power-up of all time. Now there is a... Uh, it's a second Steam sale? What's up with that? Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. Hopefully it's intentional. But um, what I will say is that it's possible that the reason we're getting such a high payout from um, from Dark Bum, which is another thing that's hard to say with a straight face, but it's possible that that's because we have the Mitre. So I can't really judge it on its merits as of yet. It might just be like an incredibly lucky synergy that's working out in, uh, in its favor to make it seem better than it is. Oh my god, and to freeze an enemy now, and then smack the crap out of them with Little Chub does so much damage. Yeah, that's a nice one-two punch to open a room. Can't believe we haven't gotten any bombs since I bought that item that gives us, you know, basically double bombs. In the future. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Mom's Pearl, it's, it's cool. We've had it before, obviously. I know we can get some extra money there. We probably should use the boomerang to do so. But, um, I forgot what I was saying. I think, oh, what I was going to say is that the left hand, I think, is a little better. For us, anyway. Let's come back here and get some of this money. It's not like there's very much to get here, anyway. Um, yeah, I think left hand's a little better for the spirit hearts and, you know, the possibility of getting those deal with the devil items, maybe becoming guppy. All that fun stuff that I would love to see. So there's our boss. We don't want to fight our boss yet. Freeze uh, Chub, one-two punch is really good. It's a spirit heart we actually can get value from now. Those rocks look like super Game Boy advance which I'm not complaining about. I think it looks really cool. Just one of those models where it really stands out. Nine keys is fantastic. PhD, sure, I mean, why not, right? We don't, we don't have enough money to get anything else, but... Uh, you get a telepills after. So, we do have the Emperor card. Emperor card's pretty good. We bend to our item room. We have like two rooms left over. Uh, I'll try to telepills out of the boss fight though to get... Uh, oh, there's a double key room there. I'll check that out. Uh, I'll try to teleport out of our boss room to get a deal with the devil, even though we don't really have the HP necessary to make it work. And we got more than enough keys to try this out. So this actually, if we stay in here, and this is why I'm not going to stay in there. Uh, every one of those dice rooms, I believe, has a different effect. Oh, snap. That's two guppy items. Every one of those uh, dice rooms has a different effect. You're going to hate me for not going to this one once I tell you what number six does, if you don't know already. It re-rolls everything. It re-rolls uh, all the items that you have. So it basically gives you just like a brand new run. Uh... And I believe that it rerolls all the pickups on the floor and and basically just gives you a whole new run. Number five is just a forget me now. I don't know what the other ones necessarily do. I've only seen five and six, I think. Um, but yeah, it's uh, if you had a shitty run, that might be an awesome room to go to and you would be like, oh, thank you, you know, Troll Engine for that. But because our run is so safe right now, I'm going to be a little bit of a big baby and not go through with it. So we'll take Safety Pin, Evil Range, plus Shots up. And we'll telepills out. Where do we end? Oh, we're in the secret room. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back and pick up our Emperor card because we can use that on the womb too, maybe. We didn't quite get enough money to buy that pill, which I think kind of sucks, but whatever. So what I'm hoping for on our... Uh, on our Devil Room here, if we get one, is uh, nine lives. We didn't get one. That's also fine. I appreciate the effort nonetheless. So let's check this out. I'm actually thinking... Oh. Well, that was easy. Uh, I'm actually thinking that I may use the Emperor card on this floor to get to the boss as quickly as possible, maybe secure a deal with the Devil Room. But let's be honest, we're not going to be taking red hard damage. If we're taking red hard damage, we're already screwed. Like, completely screwed. <laughs> wonder if he'll keep... Oh yeah, he still it didn't interrupt his pattern that much. Forgot this was not a... Uh... Ma, a boss trap room, so we are dealing with 
three bosses, but those went down really, really easily. No other consumables, but that's okay. Yeah, I say here on uh, Womb 1... Whoa, 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 that's new. Uh, I say here on Womb 1, we go through all these enemies. In the hopes of finding, like, a curse room or something. Very interesting room layout here. Easy enough. There are, uh, I think there's one spirit heart left for me if I go back for it. If not, I'm sure I'll get more in the future. I'm not really concerned about our health at all. Because, you know, every time we get low on it, we can just say, Hey, Dark Bum, thanks a lot for the spirit heart. Pretty much like unlimited spirit hearts generated over here. I feel like I'm playing on easy mode to some extent. Wow, what is this? This thing has like five transformations. No, didn't pay out that time. At least we know it's not like a half to one ratio now. Was that a... I gotta go back. <laughs> I think I might have seen a Tinted Rock there. It's a big if. Is the... No, that's just a regular rock with like a vein in it. My mistake. Oh, that's a turret. Come on. Ah, oh, we're one guppy item away from becoming guppy. Just work with me here. The people want to see it. I avoided brimstone on this run. Well, not specifically for this reason, but it would help. Hey, okay. Dare I say, I think, uh, you know, Little Chub was great in vanilla. On a run like this, he's feeling even better. Oh, there you are. We're not done with this yet? What? <laughs> that was amazing. I'm not even mad. I'm a little mad, but I'm not even that mad. Probably no need for the magician here. Yeah, that room seemed pretty easy. And the boomerang continues to prove itself very useful. That's the emperor card, which we are going to want to take with us. I don't know when I'm going to use the uh, magician card. Still seems pretty useless. Uh, I just used it for no reason there after we killed all the enemies. Good play. Um, yeah, Isaac's Fork is there. I still think Isaac's Fork is pretty bad, but especially when we only have one red heart, what's the point? Now, I'm really hoping that we come across a curse room at some point. Haven't, uh, haven't seen it yet. Wonder if Little Chub still has unlimited range on these huge rooms. Because if so, that's obviously a big asset. It seems to. Pretty much just flew across the map right there. Oh, there's one. Thank you for dying. Ah, not guppy items, unfortunately. This is an enormous room. I've got to try for it. Remember, you can't uh, boomerang those. Fair to say that was not really worth what I paid for it. But uh, Spirit Heart's easy to... Oh. Easy to come by, for the most part. Prove me right. Thank you. So we'll fight our boss first. We may explore the rest of the floor, but we may not. It's the Fallen. Oh, this is a big moment. So many good things could happen as a result of this. Give me a guppy item. Give me a deal with the devil that gives me a guppy item. Give me a deal with the devil item we've never seen. So that's... I mean, we've seen it. That's Spirit of the Night. First time we've had it in Rebirth, though. And that's nine lives for one heart. There's no way I can avoid this. Well, we'll stay away from that. But uh, please don't kill me. We're not dead, and we got uh, Guppy's Hairball. We unlocked the challenge as well. And we're Guppy, and we actually didn't lose any health at all. Okay, yeah, that we'll be going down to the next floor. It's finally happened. Don't worry, by the way, about challenges. I'll be doing challenges at some point. Are we really just going to use our <laughs> Guppy on one boss? I think the answer to that question is indeed yes. But I'll tell you what, if we unlock, uh, you know, the floor after Mom, we'll do it. Because I'm not worried about this uh, save file anyway. It should probably not exist uh, as of Tuesday, November 4th. They, this has been by far the easiest Mom's hard fight we've had thus far. But there's no exit down to anywhere else. So I think that's going to do it. Really exciting run, really fun run, though. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to skip over the ending because we've seen it before in earlier episodes. Uh, and we unlocked Eden on this file, which is cool. We'll do that in our uh, next run, maybe. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. This is an extremely important series for me. If you've enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. I can't tell you how appreciative of it I am. 
Even if I sound insincere, that's just because I've been raised to be sarcastic my entire life, and it's difficult to tell when I'm being genuine. Subscribe if you want to see more Rebirth runs every single day, and of course, I'll see you next time.